Hi, this is Dr. Joni Liu, and thank you for joining me. And we're going to be talking about something that's really important because it's about letting go of worry and anxiety. Oops, just a minute here. Got to fix something. Okay, all right. So I'm wearing my cowboy hat today because it's Stampede Week in Calgary this week. And it's a really big deal because it's a 10-day costume party. And it's a heck of a lot of fun because a lot of people in the city, especially downtown in the business and corporate section, everybody is wearing their or, or dressing down in their cowboy studs. So the thing is, is that... <laughs> Hi, how are you? The thing is that it doesn't matter who you are. Everybody dresses down and has a heck of a lot of fun. So whether you're VP or senior vice president or board member or whether you're somebody uh, working in the uh, postal office downstairs in the basement, everybody gets to dress up for this wonderful occasion and it is a heck of a lot of fun, okay? So, okay, so I'm just waiting for a few people to come on. Great. Okay. So let's get started. So I want to ask you, do you want to heal? Do you want success? You know, you have to let go of things like worry and anxiety because worry and anxiety are things that totally deflate your self-confidence. And really worrying and having anxious moments is, is normal, except that if it dominates your mindset and what I call your emotion set, then what you start having is something habitual and something that dominates your mind. So having, being a worry wart is never a good thing and it's not very constructive at all, okay? So the thing is, is that this is what stress really is. Stress is a negative feeling overall. There is no such thing as positive stress. I never thought of anything more ridiculous than that, okay? Stress is all about negativities, nothing more, nothing less. And so once you start understanding that, then that's a good place to start, okay? Because stress is always going to be bad for you. Normally what happens in our nervous system and in our brain, you know, we get upset over something, we worry over something, we get anxious about something. Anything like that is supposed to be fleeting. It's supposed to last for just a few minutes and then we're supposed to let it go and then we calm down, okay? So biologically, we get these stress hormones circulating through our brain and through our body and and the thing is is that the hypothalamus is sending signals down to our adrenal glands through our spinal cord and it sets off um, a number of chemical reactions okay so we got adrenaline and we have cortisol now at the same time within a few minutes we should naturally start uh, calming down okay hi Linda we should start calming down very, very quickly. And so that means that the parasympathetic nervous system um, starts sending out oxytocin and, you know, the good feeling hormones, okay? So we should start calming down within minutes. Okay, I'm wearing this hat because it's Calgary Stampede Week and I'm really happy, <laughs> it's a happy time in our city to be doing this, okay? And I love my hat, I love my hat. So the thing is, is that when it comes to worry and anxiety, I have found that a lot of my clients didn't know why they were having such a bad time. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Hi, back. So nobody, so a lot of my clients didn't know what it was that was bothering them. And it really, thank you. And it really came down to helping them to identify the things that upset them. Okay, so we really had to sit down and talk things through, asking very thorough questions about the things that really bug them. Because for some reason, people are not aware of the things that are bothering them. Or maybe, maybe it's just denial, you know, because we want to be strong. 
we want to look strong but the thing is is that it's so important to admit that there are things that bother us and then we have to do something about them because we cannot allow them to fester you know we don't want we don't want um, an open wound okay so pretty much having these stressful things going on in our lives are like open wounds but in our psyche not in our bodies and the reason why you want to let go of worry and anxiety is because of the effects that it really does have on your body remember the things that I talk about is all origin of any physical illness injury including concussions you know even even the stuff that I was talking about um, last week about hairline fractures same thing everything that happens to us that we don't like definitely originates in how we feel about what's going on okay so take for instance um, the heart okay in Chinese medicine the heart feels all our emotions good or bad so I'm gonna talk about heart attacks did you know that 50% of heart attacks have nothing to do with clogged arteries there are no clogged arteries in 50% of heart attacks so what else is going on so okay so their research is discovering that anger can be a big factor okay now they're starting to validate the things that Chinese medicine has known for centuries well thousands of years already <laughs> okay they're starting to validate these things now as I said the heart feels all all emotions good or bad so worry and anxiety are definitely negative emotions so they can definitely affect your heart very definitely so the effects on the heart yeah could be a heart attack and because in women the breasts are around the vicinity of the heart worry and anxiety lifelong worry and anxiety can definitely be the cause of breast cancer if your body happens to be weak in that area okay you see when somebody turns themselves around and too often it takes a really bad diagnosis to do that you know somebody who's told that you've got terminal breast cancer or you've got terminal lung cancer because the lungs are in the same place okay so if your lungs are weak if your breasts are weak um, if your heart itself is weak then those negative thoughts and feelings are definitely going to affect you so that's why for some people even when they are told that they have a terminal disease they somehow turn things around without further intervention okay now for some reason modern medicine kind of poo poos it or, or they just kind of look at it and think oh that's interesting without actually really seriously looking at it but the thing is is that and I've looked at many of these cases and you know read the stories behind these so-called miraculous recoveries what happens is that the person who recovers from these things has made a decision they've made a decision that they are going to change themselves that they go and seek out the answers but the answers are already inside them the answers are already inside you okay whenever we have the same things going going on to, happening to us over and over again it's because of our habitual train of thought okay so we have to pay attention to those things because are they causing us harm or are they causing really good results okay so our results the things that we experience that's what a result really is those are the things that we have control over over our own body over our own minds okay so that's why it's so important that we have to be aware of how we're feeling and what we are thinking okay it's I mean I have a personal goal that whenever um, 
whenever I start feeling scared about something or feeling angry about something, then right away, you know, I am telling myself that, okay, this is the situation, it's happening, sure, but I don't have to act like this. I don't have to feel this way. So I'm, I'm becoming more and more adaptable to a situation. I mean, believe me, it takes work. It really does take work. This is not an easy thing to do, but you can train yourself to do it because I have faith and I, and I, and I know that people are strong out there and that they really do want to have control over their lives. Because really, and it is true, this really is the only things that we have control over, okay, ourselves, which includes our thoughts, our feelings, the decisions we make, the actions that we take based on those decisions and the results that we get. Okay, all right. So next week, I'm going to be giving you some strategies about how to let go of those worries and anxieties, okay? All right, so I'll see you next week. Until then, this is Dr. Joni Liu. Please go to my website and I've got a new gift there. It's an ebook called Concussion Answers. And there's also a very interesting quiz on it that's called um, The Nine Signs of a Hidden Brain Injury. Okay? <laughs> so check yourself out there. And if you know anybody who's already got a concussion or PCS, please send them to Amazon to pick up my book my bestseller, Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game. Okay? So take care until next week. I'm going yahooing and stampeding tomorrow. I am so happy and excited. Okay, bye.